She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son. They shall name him Emmanuel. This is the word of the Lord. Emmanuel, let us pray. God, our Creator, we offer this humble prayer today as we celebrate Jesus' birth. We come to worship with a song of thanks in our heart, a song of hope and renewal. We pray, O oh Lord, for joy in our hearts, hope in our God, love in the world, and peace upon the earth. In a world where body and war prevails, we pray that you, Lord, bring peace to the world, especially to the nations at war with each other. We pray for the people suffering due to natural calamities. Give them the courage and resilience they need to overcome their fears and grief. Give them your consolation, Lord. We implore for the salvation of all our family members and friends, and we pray for your blessings on all people, especially those persecuted in different parts of the world. May they be bread for the hungry, love for the unlovable and forgotten, healing for the sick and suffering, protection for our children, and wisdom for our youth. May your blessings be short on our chief guest, Reverend Father Vijay Kumar, Reverend Father Medkar, our manager, Superior Reverend Sister Maria Kadumelo, our principal, Sister Antonini, all the sisters of the St. Anne's Club of Providence, well. teaching and non-teaching staff, well, support staff, parents, our beloved students, and on each and every one of that's us that's present it. here. We make this pray through Jesus Christ. Amen. Our coming with a joyful shout, a joyful hymn celebrating the birth of Christ. The actions of a person affect the others, both in a good and a bad way. But the action of our baby Jesus coming into this world affected us in such a way that we are saved from sin.
years ago in the town of Nazareth lived a young woman named Mary. She was engaged to be married to Joseph, a carpenter. One day, the angel of the Lord appeared to her and told her that she was going to bear the Son of God. Soon after the angel's visit, Mary and Joseph were married. Mary was due to have a baby when a new leader named Caesar Augustus ordered all people to go back to their homeland for a census. So Mary and Joseph headed down to Bethlehem, Joseph's hometown. Mary and Joseph, weary from their long journey and with Mary about to have the baby soon, began looking for a place to sleep. But every place they went to, they were turned away because it was full. Until at last they came to a small inn. They asked the innkeeper for a room to stay, and the kind innkeeper took pity on them. He offered them some room in a manger. Joseph made a warm place for Mary to rest, and so it was that a few hours later, Mary gave birth to little baby Jesus. Mary wrapped Jesus in strips of cloth and gently laid him in the manger for a day.
departed from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that is taking place, which the Lord has shown us.
are a chief guest and a parish priest of St. Peter's Cathedral, who is walking with a smile to give us the Christmas message. Let us put our hands together. Good morning, dear sisters, teachers, and students. First and foremost, I wish you all a very happy Christmas and I'm happy this morning to be invited as a chief guest of this program. Those shops are not, uh, not only the Christian shops, 
that all the states, all the, all the states are full of lies and full of declarations. It, it simply means that everybody celebrates the peace of Christmas. And every house has a star. Every house has a star. It is not only a Christian house, but every house has a star. Because the Christmas is a piece of light. In a way, you can say that Christmas is a piece of light. God, who is, who is the light, came down to show us light. When the people are living in darkness, we read in the book of Isaiah that when people are in darkness, God sent His light to show the way. Therefore, Christmas is a feast of light. And as we celebrate this feast, let us also share our light, share our love, share our light to others for in me. And without wasting much time, I wish you all once again a very happy Christmas and a fruitful uh, time of holidays. And I wish you all a time to uh, celebrate this Christmas with the family with full of joy. And before I conclude my short message, I say once again that Christmas is a festival of God being with us. Christ born for us. Christ born to be with us. And one more thing we need to keep in mind that we have to wait for His second coming also. As we celebrate the birth of Jesus, at the same time, we need to wait for His second coming. And to await for His second coming and to welcome Him with our own heart, we need to, we need to cleanse our hearts with all holy things. And with pure hearts that we welcome Jesus to the Shabbat His heavenly presence. Thank you, friends, dear sisters. And the principal respondent management for giving me this opportunity and I wish you all a very happy Christmas and prosperous New Year 2024. Thank you very much. And supporting them in times of need. We are saying you know, Reverend Sister Mali Jadimala, our correspondent, and our principal, Reverend Sister Mary Norman, Father, for their shawl and their honor of respect. So you can see here, there is Sister Maria Chagimano and her mother, our princess. There is a token of her love, a gift from the other sister. From here, her friends is from here, and it is to please come over. There is Sister Ramya, a KG in charge. Let's put our hands together as she comes to share. Father said, we need to shine like the stars. It is not the star that we have. It is we that, that we should shine in the world. Mr. Vanya, here we go. And over, a bouquet of red flowers. The girls will spend the festival of love and joy. Thank you, Mr. Chakravarti. Thank you, dear sister. You can see it. Mrs. Kalinga. And you are a token of love, a gift to Reverend Father Ambedkar. Hello. 
Let us 